What's going on, everybody? John Stamper here with Dental Cast Productions. We are live at Dykema's sixth annual conference. It's been awesome spending time with so many of the great people that are here, vendors and speakers and dental practice owners and all kinds of great influential people in dentistry and very, very excited for our next guest. We've got Dr. Ali Zara with us who has a bunch of practices in Southern California and thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Uh, Absolutely. Glad to be here. Yeah, so let's talk about this conference and I guess from your perspective, your reason for, for coming here and for the next, you know, yesterday and today. Well, I'm glad to be here, first of all, uh, visiting Dallas and so many other great companies that are involved in dentistry and changing dentistry um, and been able to learn a lot, um, met a lot of good people and connected with yeah. um, everyone and I'm glad to be here. So you've been practicing dentistry for how many years, you said? I've been in dentistry f um, for the last 20 years, actually, but I've okay. been practicing as a dentist for the last 12. Okay. Okay. Excellent. So when you when you look at you know practicing dentistry or whatever, what is it that brings you the most joy? You know, when you really think about what you do and all that. Well, to me, there's so many people in America that don't receive care. 60% of the population doesn't go to the dentist on an annual basis. Um, and it's this population that really needs the care. And right. I'm passionate about changing things so that they can have this access to, uh, you know, better, better oral care oral care. Yeah, exactly. And how about this meeting? What are some nuggets that you've pulled from the meeting, whether it be some meeting with some of the companies, some of the you know key presentations, things like that? Well, the main thing is um, now the technology. There's so many great companies doing great things like Patient Prism um, that allows us in the field, in the dental, dental office to provide better care and better customer service, which sure. you know has been lacking in right. the past and I think in the next five years um, technology is really going to be key yeah and investing and, and having that in our practices so that the patients have better better access and better better care overall so like for example when you I'm always curious when you bring a new technology in any of your practices mm -hmm. do you typically find that the patients value that they get excited about it when they see that you you know you've made this investment you know for your business and absolutely well, you know. um, when the patients come in and they've been coming into the practice over the last, you know, 10 years or so, um, they notice the difference. Right. Um, you know, when they don't have to take a regular impression, they take a digital CAD cam um, impression that doesn't have all the goo in their mouth, makes a huge difference. And sure. so they, they realize it. Yeah. So you said you have nine practices, is that what you were saying? Yeah. yeah. Nine, nine practices in Southern California, um, basically in the community I grew up in. Mm -hmm. And... Um, uh, you know, we had a, a lot of success in, in, in patients wanting care and, and being able to deliver to patients that hadn't had care in the past. Right. And we've just grown and expanded to, to give patients more of that. Yeah. What's that been like going from one to three to nine? And well, it's been, you know, it's been exciting. Yeah. Um, a lot of hard work in between, sure. but very rewarding in that, um, I'm in a place now where we can do things to, to help people where if we were just, you know, one location, um, we're kind of limited. Right. Um, and we've brought on some really great doctors on our team and uh, really made a difference. Yeah. No, I love that. And I think, like you mentioned, uh, scaling for, for the reason of being able to serve more, right? Uh, especially as you, I'm sure, grew out of your practice and in the community that you grew up in, like you mentioned, and all of that. How about uh, any any class that you attended here or a course, something that you want to take back to your practice and your group next week? Well, uh, a lot of the CEOs that were speaking yesterday um, just mentioned something that I'm really big on is culture. And so we want to have a culture in our in our practices with our teams that really has been different than what people are used to in the past. Sure. Um, customer service is key. Being able to uh, make sure that every patient that comes through our doors is happy and and, and, and enjoys the place and, and gets great care and sees great doctors and and even you know the, the from the receptionist to the to any assistant that works for us, um, we train and we uh, make sure that they're quality people that understand 
mm-hmm. that our patients are number one and, and, and the care that we give is so important. Yeah, excellent. Well, Dr. Ali, this has been a pleasure. Thank you so much Thank for taking you. the time to come on and talk about your experience here at the meeting and, and best of luck with your growth. Love I it. Really awesome stuff. It. Very All right. nice to meet you. Yeah, you got it. Thank you.